thank you so much, Professor Morris. And, and thank you everyone for coming out to the Delaware State University Honors Program recital uh, in here at the research day here at Delaware State University. My name is Dr. Shonda Poe, Executive Director for the Office of URELA, and that stands for Undergraduate Research, Experiential Learning, and Honors. And so today we are going to be delighted with our students, our scholars from the Department of Music, who will perform musical renditions for you that they have been practicing so much and for so long. So we are appreciative, uh, again, of Professor Morrison, Dr. Crawford, and of course, Dr. McPherson, and all of the students who are going to be able to provide this musical rendition recital for us today. I'd like to acknowledge, uh, first, our Office of URELA team. I have my team right here. That's Ms. Danielle Craig. She's our Associate Director. <laughs> Mrs. Terry Paul Smith coming in. She is the Program Assistant. This team works so hard and diligently, not just for the honors program, but for the whole student population here at Delaware State. And so we thank you for joining us live streaming and here in person here at Delaware State uh, for a magnificent and honest recital that you won't forget. So now I'll introduce you to our Associate Provost, Dr. Clytrice Watson. Good afternoon. I'm gonna start with a quote by Dr. Martin Luther King. Beautiful music is the art of the prophets that can calm the agitations of the soul. It is one of the most magnificent and delightful presence God has given us, and I believe that truly. Thank you. On behalf of the Office of Academic Affairs, I would like to welcome you to the 2024 Music Program Honors Recital. We are so happy that you took time out of your afternoon. Some of you were probably required to come for the Honors Program, but thank you. But we're so grateful that you took time out your afternoon to spend time with us um, and hear the performances that are gonna come before you. The honors recital has been a traditional component of the research day for many years and led by Dr. Mabel Morrison. So I would like to take a moment to just honor her and her commitment to the Delaware State University music program. I would also like to recognize the music department because it takes a team. Um, Dr. Lori Crawford is the chair for the music department. Dr. McPherson has, had, um, has done quite a bit of work to make this day happen as well. And I don't wanna try to mention all the faculty from the music department, but you know who you are. And we thank you and honor you and appreciate you. So please know that our students have worked extremely hard to bring you beautiful performances today. And I'm sure that you will enjoy and appreciate their efforts. So relax, enjoy the performances, and I'm gonna end with a quote from Bob Marley. Did the, did the mic close out? <laughs> Bob Marley said, the one good thing about music, when it hits you, you don't feel any pain. So I hope the music hits you hard today. So it is indeed a treat that we are able to share quite often uh, what our music program has produced over the years. Uh, of course, we have had some extraordinary people who have come through Delaware State University uh, dating back to when Dr. Morrison and Dr. Howard Brockington joined us. As a result of that, we have one of our most recent alums, Mr. Jaden Atkins, who is now winding up his MM and performance in Lower Brass and Tuba performance. He's a surprise for many of you, and I think it's wonderful that we can celebrate the beginning of this program with one of our own. Everybody, Mr. Jaden Atkins. Good afternoon, everybody. It's so great to be invited back here to my alma mater. I love Delaware State very much. I wanna thank Dr. Morrison for inviting me back here. I also would like to thank the, um, my professors, Dr. Gazda and everybody else that helped me through my time here. There is gonna be a change on the program. I will not be performing the metallic figures. I will be performing a different piece called Three Furies for Tuba by James Grant. And um, I'll be performing the first two Furies.
Ladies and gentlemen, let's have one more round of applause for Mr. Jaden Atkins. Uh, we are so blessed that he is the son of our assistant uh, director of bands and also the director of our University Jazz Ensemble, Mr. Vincent Atkins. Can we give him a hand? In a brass kind of way, we're going to continue our program now with our brass uh, trombone quartet uh, as well as do I have it backwards? Okay. Uh, anyway, we're going to move forward with a lot of brass. Uh, uh, trombone is tucked in the middle of two brass ensembles. Ladies and gentlemen, this is from the studios of Dr. Frank Gosta and also Dr. Patrick Hoffman. All right. Let's give them a wonderful round of applause.
Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Mr. Paul Jones. He's a freshman this year and a trombonist.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, one more time for our freshman, Mr. Paul Jones. Uh, this music that we're doing celebrates the foundation of our entire cultural diaspora as an HBCU. We're responsible for training all of our young people in every dynamic. Uh, as you will note in your program and on our program guide, uh, we have composers that are represented from pretty much every dynamic. Uh, Leonard Bernstein, of course, is the person who just gave us this wonderful piece from West Side Story. Uh, many of you do not remember West Side Story from back then, but just recently, Steven Spielberg, uh, very much like uh, Charlie Smalls and The Wiz, did a television version of West Side Story. We're surrounded by Germans and Frenchmen, of course, uh, and then our wonderful brother, Bill Reichenbach, I got a chance to meet in my early years with Quincy Jones as an incredible trombonist and jazz trumpet player as well as a classical player. Now we're going to invite out our brass ensemble, again, who is doing something I think that really makes a huge difference in what we do. We're responsible for training in every discipline, every genre. Ladies and gentlemen, if you can, let's welcome our university uh, brass ensemble, please. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I as misspoke earlier, uh, Paul Jones's piece was by another French composer. Uh, of course, you sit in your program, Joseph Edward Baron. Uh, this semester, we seem to be uh, enveloped by both our French and German brothers and sisters. Uh, Barat, of course, uh, an early French composer, uh, very much like these next few pieces that we're doing. Uh, in particular, we are celebrating a wonderful time of people like Frédéric Chopin and Francis Poulenc, all right? And that is giving us a wonderful opportunity to continue to broaden the skill set of our young people and also make them competitive. Uh, this next piece uh, is a Poulenc piece uh, that will feature our, our Woodwind Studio under the direction of Professor Latrell White. Let's give them a hand, please.
one more time, Miss Danae Beto. She's one of our multi-instrumentalists. We share uh, a unique privilege of having many of our young people who are multi-instrumentalists. They play multiple instruments, uh, especially those young people who are in our music industry studies program and our music performance program. Uh, those young people who also are our music educators share a sincere passion for making certain that they are prepared to be competitive. Again, uh, while we know that we have a lot of great things going on in commercial music, and certainly uh, when we're influenced by things like the Grammys and the American Music Awards and BET, we also know that we have a responsibility to make sure that our young people are prepared on every level. So uh, that's a wonderful testament as we make this transition to our wonderful faculty members here. We'd like to take this moment and just recognize our faculty members, of course, starting with our brilliant, brilliant and beloved Dr. Mabel Morrison, uh, Professor Christy Taylor, Dr. Frank Gazda, Professor Sidney Sessoms, Professor Vincent Atkins, Professor Latrell White, uh, Dr. Patrick Hoffman, Professor Pepe Pelle Borsian, and Professor Dr. David Tolley, uh, and we have a whole slew of others individuals, uh, Professor Tippin, uh, Professor Huff, Professor Dr. Carla Becker, uh, Professor Sarah Hoffman, and I think that's everybody, Professor Rob Tyler, uh, and of course yours truly. Making this transition now, I'm a pianist, so I love Chopin, I love Poulenc, I love all of these wonderful places that we're able to celebrate. Uh, this young man has a unique story. He just started studying piano formally after he got here at Delaware State University. Everybody, let's welcome Professor Pelia Bossian's student, Joseph McLean, on a Chopin. Please. I love Chopin. Uh, for those who write music for television and film, our young film composers, uh, that's a wonderful mode of inspiration so that you can take those piano etudes, preludes, nocturnes, 
uh, and berserkers, and they become wonderful orchestral pieces. Ladies and gentlemen, let us take this wonderful privilege of welcoming uh, from the studio of Professor Christy Taylor, Miss Tana Moulton. Again, Ms. Tana Moulton. The beauty of this dynamic also presents uh, the, the strength of our faculty members. Uh, Professor Christy Taylor uh, is uh, our co-program uh, uh, director here along with myself. Uh, and of course, uh, Professor Crawford, who is the department chair for mass communications, visual and performing arts. But uh, as would time, as time would have it, Professor Taylor also, a multi-instrumentalist, a marvelous trombonist, uh, played in our university band and jazz ensemble here, uh, plays piano, sings, conducts, uh, writes, and also produces. And making that segue, we'd like to introduce now the uh, last uh, segment of our program, which features young people from her voice studio. We're gonna start with a beautiful young freshman uh, who came to us uh, and literally auditioned through last year's Allstate uh, activities that we hosted here, Miss Tyronese Hampton-Jones, also known as Mary.
Yes, I made the choice For Papa I will stay But I don't deserve to lose my freedom in this way You monster If you think that what you've done is right
Again, ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Tyrone's Hampton Jones, also known as Mary. And again, we share that unique privilege of being able to present uh, songs from television shows and films and Broadway. Uh, knowing that that also too requires a compositional arranging, uh, conducting and performing skill set. So we're indeed very delighted to share that moment. Uh, our next singer, uh, Miss Victoria Incope. So uh, again, Ms. Victoria Incope, uh, as fate would have it, uh, we were privileged to share in the opportunity to participate in the Harry T. Burley uh, Festival, Music Festival. Of course, we know that Harry Burley, of course, was a brilliant African-American composer. And knowing that uh, we share in the light of also celebrating Negro spirituals, which we have just listened to, uh, Ms. Incope and Professor Taylor were able to go. Ms. Incope represented Delaware State University this past weekend uh, in Nashville. Let's give her a wonderful round of applause again. Now, uh, I came from a family of teachers and preachers and uh, community leaders. One of the things that they have always asked us to do is never give up on our young people and give up on our students. Uh, we have to love them sometimes, and sometimes that love is tough, T-U-F-F-F. -F -F. <laughs> uh, and there are other times where when you just can see the light in a person's eyes, you know that if you just keep walking beside them, that light which turns from a flicker to a flame is what is represented in this next young lady. Uh, a beautiful vocalist, a songwriter, a young producer that's budding, uh, Miss Stacy Baffer Donzo. Good 
afternoon, everybody. My name is Stacey Bafford Ansel, and I'm a senior um, majoring in liberal studies with concentrations in psychology and music. Um, today for you guys, I will be singing Waiting for Life from the musical Once on this Island. The musical is about this young girl who was, her life was spared in a great flood by the gods. And pretty much at some point she gets tired of the life that she's been bestowed and she says, okay, if y'all saved my life, what for? Can we get something going? Can it, I have some fun or something? And this song is basically her prayer to the gods. A stranger in white in a car going somewhere going far how it must feel to go racing wherever you please flying as free as a bird with its tail in the breeze even the fish in the sea must be longing to fly catching a glimpse of a stranger in white racing by oh gods oh gods are you there what can i do to get you to look down and give in oh gods oh gods hear my prayer with my feet on the ground and my fates in the air waiting for life to begin Mama's contented and Tan Tan accepts what he gets Happy for tea in their cups and no holes in their nets Happy to have what they have and to stay where they are they never even look up at the sound of a car. A stranger racing down the beach, racing to places I was meant to reach. My stranger, one day I'll arrive. Your car will stop and I'll hop and off will drive. Again, Miss Stacy before Danza. Before we present our final piece, uh, we just want to again extend this love letter of thanks to our, our institutional leadership, those people who partner with us on a regular basis to help us to be able to make these presentations. I'd like to start with our technical staff, Mr. Zach Kimball and Mr. Darius Godwin, and all of our folks from IT and mass communications. We'd also like to thank the people from our provost office, of course, our provost, Dr. Sandra DeLauder, uh, 
as well as Dr. Clytrice Watson, our associate provost, our dean, Dr. Emily Williams. We haven't seen much of her. Uh, she's scattered all over this place, and certainly we thank you and want to say thanks to all that you do. And of course, our department chair, uh, Professor Lori Crawford. Uh, we'd also like to thank some people that have kind of helped us behind the scenes. Uh, one lady who's done a lot of work in, in partnership with Dr. Morrison is Ms. Miranda Tompkins. Let's give her a round of applause, please. And then uh, our ushers for today, Ms. Alicia Woodard and Nigeria Ingram, uh, wherever they are, they're usually floating very fast on their feet. And of course, the, the brother who helps us to manage this facility, Mr. John Samaras, so let's give them all a wonderful round of applause. Our closing number uh, is a love letter. Uh, when Charlie Smalls first created The Wiz, uh, it was introduced on Broadway, and initially it was celebrated by a brilliant singer named Miss Stephanie Mills. Uh, and of course, Stephanie has gone on to get multiple awards, Tonys, Grammys, as uh, she's been nominated for an Oscar as well. Uh, and then, of course, The Wiz itself made its way to film. Uh, and that's where we learned that Michael Jackson did. He's on down the road with Diana Ross also doing home. We're so blessed to have this next young man. He came last summer uh, as part of the visit to DSU uh, during the time that we were doing several open houses. Uh, shout out to Mr. Kareem McLemore and also Mr. Uh, uh, that entire staff. I just drew a blank at the other staff, so I wouldn't forget anybody. Uh, but it, it becomes important that when we partner with these individuals, we also allow those folk who are placed in front of us the opportunity to share. And uh, lo and behold, we end up getting Mr. Cameron Washington. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cameron Washington, thanks all of you for being here. Let's give Mr. Cameron Washington a round of applause. The Wiz home. When I think of home, I think of a place where there's love overflowing. I wish I was home, I wish I was back there with the things I've been knowing. Wind that makes the tall trees bend into leaning. Suddenly the raindrops that fall, they have meaning, sprinkling the sea, makes it all clear. Maybe there's a chance for me to go back now that I have some direction it would sure be nice to be back home where there's love and affection and just maybe i can convince time to slow up giving me enough time in my life to grow up time be my friend let me start again suddenly my world's gone and changed its face but i still know where i'm going i have had my mind spun around in space and yet I watched it grow in. Oh, and if you're listening, God, please don't make it hard to know if we should believe the things that we see. 
tell us should we run away should we fight and stay or is it better just to let things be living here in this brand new world of ours might be a fantasy but it taught me to love so it's real to me and I've learned that we must look inside our hearts to find find a world full of love like yours like Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cameron Washington, Professor Christy Taylor. So now, in closing, we want to remind you of the uh, end of the year events that we have. Of course, we have our university concert band uh, right here in this same place on Sunday, April 21st at 6 p.m. Followed by, uh, and that is also in presentation with our University Jazz Ensemble. That weekend is Jazz Under the Stars. And we have a series of events that are going on both Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, where we also present our University Jazz Ensemble. And of course, uh, the end of our year programming is the University Concert Choir uh, on the s following Sunday at 5 p.m. in our annual spring concert. And then we are going to culminate the semester, of course, with commencement, and we're going to share a little bit in our lobby area on International Day of Jazz, which is April 30th. So ladies and gentlemen, one more time, let's give all of our participants, our faculty member, our staff, those people who have done a great job in rec uh, representing our entire community partnership at Delaware State University, and also give yourselves a wonderful round of applause and have a great rest of the day. We remind you there's a program here this evening as well at 6 p.m. IMA. God bless all of you now. Take care.